last time. Travel with me and I'll pay you. Welcome to solitude. Olaf, it is time. We'll gather outside the college for the burning of King Olaf. She becomes a full-fledged member of the Bard's College. Please, take pity on an old madman. My master has abandoned me. But if you want to clear out the cave, I'll make sure you're repaid for your work. Yes! Yes! Return me to this realm! Summoned with words, bound by blood. Hey there. More bard stuff today. The reason I essentially had to retcon and do Wolf Skull Cave now is because I'm doing bard stuff. And the Amorous Adventures Quest and Solitude are very bard related. And I feel like it's going to tie into the rise of the Bard College. They used to be struggling for money, but now it's becoming not as much of a problem. You've returned. Good. What did you find at Wolf Skull Cave? Well, some necromancers are trying to summon and bind Potema. Potema herself? Please tell me you stopped them. Huh. Of course I did. You've done a larger service to the realm than you could possibly know. A resurrected Potema. I shudder at the thought. Yes? Wolf Skull was necromancers. We got rid of them. These are troubling times indeed. Want a piece of cheese while we walk? I have a place <laughs> in my pocket. There's probably only a little lint on it. Okay, I gotta leave that in. Now to do something about this milady crap. Good leaders always listen to their subjects. Good and happy peasants are eyes and ears for the crown. With the passing of my dear husband, Torek, the weighty position of Jarl has fallen to me. I hope I can live up to expectations. I hope I can help the people of Solitude. I love your attitude, and the people here love you for good reason. Thank you. You've been a great help to me. For what it's worth, I'm sorry about King Torig. Ulfric was trying to make waves, but it might have been too far. It was straight out of a storybook. I wish he were here now. I miss him, but it's clear he's not coming back. May I ask you a question? Of course. Why are you looking at me like that? Am I sensing that you may be interested in me? Eh, I mean, you are pretty, but I kind of look at everyone like that. Sorry. I see. Yes, of course, you were right. Best know your place. Well, that's kind of rude. I'm proof of their ignorance. I have an itch to pull pranks on people in here. It's fun just to have her around for a commentary. There's something personal I was hoping you would do for me. What can I do for you? Falk told me what you did for us at Wolf Skull Cave. He says you're someone we can trust. As you may know, Talos' worship is outlawed in the Empire. Oh, wait. When we buried my husband, I made offerings to all the gods, except Talos. I would like you to take an item of his, a warhorn handed down from his father, and place it at a shrine of Talos. Of course. It'd be an honor. Thank you. It would mean a lot to me. Yeah, this isn't part of the Empire anymore. I'll be at the Winking Skeever. I... The hero of the Civil War. What can the richest man in Skyrim help you with? Oh, now you remember me when I'm making ways at your court. Erikur, can I do something for you? I just wanted to get a better look at you. Yep, this is me. Sorry I'm not more presentable, but I just got rid of a cult. So sad what happened to young Elisif. Tragic, really. Such a young and pretty girl. Poor woman, losing her husband and king like that. Uh, yeah, it sure is. Beauty makes a great lure. Thanks, but I don't think I'm your type. It tends to attract any skeever that washes up, eh? Uh, what are you on about? Why are you here? I'm an adventurer. It's what I do. Maybe do a little research before approaching somebody. Makes you look foolish. Also, do you still not remember? I literally did a job for you a few months ago. Fine. Don't tell me. But I know that look in your eyes. You're interested. And Jarl Elisif knows it. Let me give you a bit of advice. Don't even think about it. Hey, Val. Is this guy as crazy as I think he is? Hello, friend. Random request, I know. Could I take a look at Pelagius' wing? Absolutely not. That wing has been sealed for hundreds of years, and for good reason. They say the ghost of Pelagius the Mad still haunts it. Yeah, I ain't afraid of no ghost. Ghost or not, 
There are reminders of his dark rule that are best left buried away. Come on, Falk. You know I'll be careful. I'll make an exception for you. But do not bring anything out when you leave. Too many dark deeds transpired in those halls. Elisif relies on you a lot. She still mourns greatly for her husband, High King Torik. So she leaves many of the courtly details to me. Not gonna do that quite yet because it sticks me in the uh, pocket realm. I think I've seen a picture of you. Are you King Torig? Killed by Ulfric? Ah, yes. Quite. I faced him fearlessly. My fate inescapable, yet my honor is unstained. Can Ulfric say the same? I don't know how he feels about it. What's done is done. No gloom can hold my heart for long in Shores Blessed Hall, where no shadows lie. When Ulfric's storm cloak with savage shout sent me here, my sole regret was fair Elisif, left forlorn and weeping. Yeah, she definitely misses you. I'm worried about my beautiful young wife. How I was ever able to meet such a gorgeous creature is one of life's mysteries. Creature? However, I must let go of my wife. They say love is eternal. Don't be naive. These are dark times. Desperate times call for desperate measures. My wife. I wasn't sure I could let her go with the war and other dangers. I'm keeping an eye on her for a little while before I pass on. Now I don't have to. Why's that? I've never seen anyone with skills like yours. Take care of her. Huh. You still love her even now, after death. I do. Now and forever. All right. I'll make sure she's safe. I appreciate that. Farewell. So with just slight tweaks, I turn a quest where you're asking her dead husband for permission to bang her, essentially, to a ghostly king's last request for someone of my great abilities to watch over her. The difference between good storytelling and bad is subtlety. And I like that it's a big ask because I was one of the Stormcloak commanders. You there, traveler, over here. Shores Bones, Eriker. My name is Destan. So it's true, you've turned traitor. I can't believe it. I'm a Stormcloak. What are you talking about? As you may be aware, Elisif's husband, High King Torig, was recently killed. I fear the dead have become restless. Would you care to comment on that, perhaps? Were you spying on me? I thought I had a tail. Damn it. A rare few are born with a gift for making money. My investments are my strength, and my wealth is my weapon. Well, I just gave away most of my money. A little coin always greases the wheels. I know many things. My spies are everywhere. We keep a constant vigil against those who practice the vile arts of necromancy. Nah, not a necromancer. You're being very petty and it's annoying. I myself know it's all a terrible, terrible misunderstanding. I'm quite sure you're innocent in all this. I can't believe you're speaking with my husband. Delivered the horn, and he wanted to talk about you. Does it somehow involve blood or beheadings or the honor of my forebears? But Aunt Talos has said you. Talos worship is outlawed in the Empire. But you said... If I cared for your opinion on our affairs, I'd ask. Elisa, is he speaking to you? No, he isn't. This hardly seems fair. Do you have any idea what that's like? What I'm going through? I don't want to hear another word about what you're learning from my dead husband. Best you forget whatever you think you saw. Gee, she wouldn't let me talk at all. There's talk of conjuration and necromancy. But I find it hard to believe. Says the only mage here. And I know necromancy. Trust me on that. My lady... Surely you're not that naive. You would rather pass judgment than attempt to understand. I understand what's best for solitude. This is the vile arts of necromancy, and Jarl Ellison knows it. Listen, you impudent cur. The more important question is, why are you here? How about you keep your nose out of it? Ellison, 
Don't fear the unknown, oh. the hidden. Torg might have done it, returned to this world. Do you believe that? The law cannot be bent for personal friendships. It's just this... it's just confusing. I think I've got a handle on it. We can consider this incident nothing more than an unfortunate misunderstanding. Oh, no, no, that won't do at all. There are some issues we must speak about. Oh, guess I can speak now. This is a little creepy. That's understandable. Your husband asked me to watch out for you. Thank you for telling me the truth. Although it is true my husband Torik was the High King, and I am his widow, I I'm not ready for this. I put the horn at the statue, by the way. Falk said I could count on you. You have more than earned the right to purchase property and take the next step to becoming a Thane. Speak to Falk when you have the funds, and thank you. Also, you should come visit me in my chambers after midnight. Oh, I think Elisif just wants a friend. I have so very many ways to deal with people. Very few of them pleasant. Thanks for the help with Elisif. Why did you help anyway? Curiosity. I know you for what you are. I'm a lot of things. Please, tell me. You seek life's simple pleasures. You're a lovely young thing. You're not so bad yourself. So, would you like to buy a lady a drink? Do you take your blood straight up or on the rocks? This is the level of snark that I need. Wait, you aren't referring to... No. There's no way you would know about that. Anybody with half-decent magic of sense can see your glowing eyes. I don't know what you're talking about. NPC replacers fix that, but it's pretty obvious in vanilla. This is actually a quest I'm not gonna do yet, because I think there's a mod that ties into this that I don't have loaded. So, time to go talk to the bards again. Press H for horse means I can ride horses in town. I've no interest in entertaining amateurs. Come back when you've made a name for yourself. Okay, but not that bard. Ah, good to see you. And you with your posse of randos, aka human shields. Have you ever heard of the dragon horns? Dragon horns were crafted by the dragon guard and used as weapons against the dragons. And as bards, finding a dragon horn could give us an advantage. If any dragon decide to show up in solitude, which they have, music can once again play a major role with the return of the dragons. I don't know what mod that's from. Might as well. Sounds like you know where one is. Of course. Would I be chattering about it if I hadn't heard about one? I heard a Kajit merchant might have gotten his hands on a dragon horn. Last I heard, he was wandering near Falkreath. I suppose this could be a great start. Hey, it's Lizette. Just who I was looking for. Feel free to make requests. Hey, Lizette. Can I talk to you about this fucking Eriker guy? Not here. Come with me. He's a fucking child. Got any dirt on him? <laughs> Takes some getting used to. He's making advances, and I can't bear the man's presence. I heard him boasting he'll conquer me as a true Nord. Huh. What a fuckboy. Well now, this is unexpected. You of all people. Oh, you remember me this time? I should feel honored. Huh. The city's crawling with filth. It's everything I can do to keep slumming it with you commoners. Well, technically, on the same rank as you, I'm a Thane in two cities. Why are you slumming it today? Look, we all have our flaws. Mine is that women can't get enough of me. As long as you pay them, you mean? Um... What were we talking about? Seems we share a mutual dislike of Eriker. I suppose so, yes. So about that dirt? Maybe we can blackmail him. Nah, I don't think so. Come on, Lizette. You're a bard, I'm a bard. It's only natural we talk about people. What would Valerine say? Yes, that's right. A fellow bard. Congratulations on getting the festival restored. My goodness, you're quite resourceful, aren't you? You're a hero. Clearly the mod author never talked to a woman before. Oh, stop. You're gonna make me blush. I don't have your dynamite singing voice. Oh, you are terrible. You do know that, right? <laughs> no, I really mean it. Your voice is beautiful. Want to sing for me? Well... La 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 Eh, you should sing while I play sometime. 
I can see why all the boys talk about you. Oh? <sighs> I only wish I had someone like you in my life. Sounds like Eriker was in your life. Did you actually want him, though? Well, he was. It's... It's complicated. Seems simple to me. You hate him just like me. What's he got on you, anyway? It's just one of the many duties we at the Bard's College are called upon to perform. Oh. The wealthy support the Bard's College, giving them more money and influence. And the wealthy want something for that. There are things ladies like us are supposed to do. Do you understand? There's a lot of money at stake, after all. I guess it's a lot closer than the East March Gentlemen's Club. Huh. Prostitution tucked away in solitude. <laughs> well, when you put it like that, it certainly puts things into perspective. But, no. Plenty of bards at the college loved the opportunity. Well, besides Ildi. So are you still entertaining patrons? Asking for a friend? Absolutely not. I want to leave everything from the Bard's College behind. Be free again. Maybe I can talk to Erica for you. That can be very persuasive. Anything you can do to keep his filthy hands off of me would be a welcome change. I don't have much to give in reward, but return to me when the task is done and I'll do what I can. To be clear, it's not that I'm not okay with her getting with Lizette. It's that this mod kind of wants you to get with everyone in order to complete the story. Well, does that kind of make sense? Elisif doesn't really. The way it was presented anyway. Dragonborn away! To be fair, I do like the extra story though. Oh hey, there he is. That's convenient. I understand what's best for solitude, and Jarl Elisif knows it. Do the Thanes support Elisif? Oh, most certainly. At least when Elisif herself asks. If you're inquiring whether we have concerns about her age and inexperience, uh, let me put it this way. The Thanes have every confidence in General Tullius' leadership. Ah uh, yes, the, um, dead general. Anyway, we need to talk about Lisette. That little tease! Leading me on and turning cold at the last minute. I don't think so! All that talent will go to waste when I'm finished with her. Consent can be taken away, dude. Also, she's a graduate. I don't know what you're talking about. You know how this works. The Bard must belong to the college. What? Where did you hear such a thing? Come on, Thane. I know you know how this works. You trying to cut the college bards out? Uh, no, I... By the eight... Nine. Fine! The deal is patronage for a college bard. That she is not. No, I guess not. The Lisette thing's got us thinking maybe the deal needs a review, eh? Oh, you're not thinking of cutting me out, are you? <laughs> no, I don't think that will be necessary. Just leave the graduates alone. They gotta be free to travel. Do bard stuff. You understand. Oh, well... I have no idea why, but I liked her. <sighs> I believe it's time for a replacement. Well, okay. There's the matter of the patronage. I'm very discriminating when it comes to the female form. Mm. Aren't you a new member of the Bard's College? I think I'm getting an idea. I will burn this fucking place to the ground with you inside of it. What was that? Nothing. I mean, there are lots of better choices. I tend to travel a lot, being an adventurer. You wouldn't get to sample the goods very often. Ugh, I think I just puked in my mouth a little bit. Still could be pretty sweet when you are in town. How old are you? Do I even want to answer that? I turn 20 in four months. Hmm, pretty tempting. But you do have a point. You can be the default choice until you find me somebody better. Still leaning towards the fire option. What? It's really loud in here! Speak up! I said, what's your view on Ildi? She's a fine apprentice bard. I have concerns about her age and inexperience. What am I, your pimp? Interested in Aya? She's really not at the top of my list, no. Pentea? Though she's an instructor. I feel like a used wagon salesman now. As long as it saves me from being the choice or murdering you and all the witnesses, I guess. Look how persistent you are. Charming, really. Stop trying to flirt with me. I do have my eye on her, but she seemed a bit cold when I spoke to her earlier. Maybe just playing hard to get, eh? She used to sing the most lovely songs. I've never heard a voice so beautiful. <sighs> I'll see what I can do. I suggest you tell your people at the college I'm looking for new blood to hire. That damn fool! I should wring her neck. Uh, who is that? Labrina. 
That fool student of mine stole my flute and sold it to some necromancer. I just got a ransom note for it. That flute has been handed down for 17 generations. Well, don't just stand there. Go get my flute! First of all, hi, I'm Gastana. That's usually customary before making demands of people. Also, why would a necromancer want your flute? Apparently, Lorena told him some story about the flute being able to make the dead dance. It's just a flute. A really old and valuable flute, but just a flute. I must find my flute! Yeah, nobody's probably gonna get that reference. So this fairy is in hell jail, and wow, and she's more concerned about her flute than her life. Eh, my wife and I found it funny. Never mind. Pantea, maybe you can help me. Have you performed your voice exercises today? Ahem. <clears throat> uh, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, da. There is a reason I play the lute and not say. A little breathy and a little harsh on the notes. Meet me in my chambers later and we can discuss the situation in private. Oh wow, that's pretty brazen. Can we discuss the patronage arrangement? A delicate question, to be sure. So people tell me the bard performs sexually? I can assure you that this is entirely false. I mean, why would that idea even cross your mind? Multiple people told me so. Huh? Oh, well... So long as you don't tell anyone. Sounds like prostitution to me. Which I'm not against if the bards know what they're signing up for. Gods, I assume the boys have the same deal? The bards college and my students benefits from my more creative arrangements it's not really a fair comparison if you ask me. Deserve the patron opens the mind to experience in a way like never before. To make love is the most elegant of instruments. The pinnacle of the bardic art. I mean, yeah, if they choose to. That's a complete cop-out. No need to get snippy. Look, what is it you want from me? We get the money, the patrons get the girl. Everybody wins, right? I'm not gonna address that the boys don't have to do anything here. I have a patron. I need a girl. I see. Charming. Yeah, Erica specifically asked for you. What? No! Oh my god. No, no, that isn't right. It's that wretched Ildi. Have fun. Hope it's mutually beneficial for you. Uh, hold on! You get yourself to Ildi at once. Talk about this. Go do it now! One of the cool things about sharing a bunch of voice actors is it makes splicing a lot easier. Oh, well, looks like she's late for class. I'm so glad you got back from Olaf's tomb, okay? They gave you a tougher task than they gave me. Thanks, Ildi. I know we barely know each other, but Pantea asked me to talk to you. Oh, really? Let me guess. She's decided I need more patronage. Yeah. Damn, this is a big open secret I never knew. Yes, I know. She runs things around here after all. The college will be generously rewarded, while those pigs she calls patrons grope me and say the most awful things. I'm even picking out specific quest lines. So is that a yes or a no? You think you can bully me? You're disgusting. Don't you even think of laying a finger on me, or I'll cut off something you can't live without. Best play completely straight. <laughs> what are you gonna do? I'm not trying to force you into anything. But that's the right attitude for somebody who does. And what could you possibly be talking about cutting off? And the answer's still no. I'm saving myself for someone special. Someone who loves me dearly. Don't you see? No matter what I say, they want my innocence. Uh, innocence is overrated. I got rid of that when I was like, 14. Couldn't they understand? No, they treated me like garbage. I'm not very well liked at the college. Most people barely notice what I'm playing. Honestly, fuck them. Play for yourself. You get to choose what you experience in life. Oh, and payment of patronage will help with it? I just want to learn. I don't want to think about what's expected of me. Well then, don't. Like it's that easy. Even for you. Yeah, it is. Anyway, I'm gonna tell Pantea no deal. See you later, Ildi. Wait. Please. Stay with me. I have completely changed everything. Fuck these lines, man. Even this is kind of skeevy. Like, she's vulnerable. Sure, if that's what you want. Please, be my patron. Make all the pain just go away. You do know sex doesn't magically fix your mental state, right? But if you want me, I'm willing. Also, I just gave most of my adventuring money away. Mara, what have I done? It's natural to lose yourself a little bit. Sex is great, no lie. Bet you'll never find a man as good at that as me. 
if you can. Please give me a chance to try again. Your first try reciprocating was a valiant effort. Maybe someday I'll cater to some of our more eclectic patrons. For now, just you be my patron. Well, I am also a bard, and I don't have money. I can be a teacher, though. This mouth is not for singing. Oh, hey, was that really eavesdropping? Yeah, but so was the entire Avenue District. Yeah, um, the girls got some pipes. Decided to pay the college a visit, huh? I'm free to come and go as I please. To come visit is always exciting. You're looking good, by the way. Don't you sweet talk me. That bard is the worst. She's a little girl. Not literally, though. No more than me. I taught her a few things just now. Ugh. Anyway, I'm quite happy in my current pursuits. So if you'll excuse me. Well, guess I'm gonna go find a flute. Bye. So I'm gonna pick up all the instrument quests before I head out and Shadow Song. Who are you? I am Delric, an aspiring wandering bard. Imagine traveling all around Tamria while singing the songs of our ancestors. This is my dream. Tell me more, I like traveling. My father, he was also a wandering bard. He raised me until I was old enough to survive on my own. He then left to continue traveling and singing again. How about mom? I never met her. Apparently she was a witch who was part of a coven. They met when he was traveling, but that's all I know. My father left a note for me before leaving. He said to only open it when I feel ready to join him. I think I might be ready for it now. Do you want to join in? Did we just become traveling bard buddies? Do it, bro! Okay, let's see. When the flower will have bloomed, and its will to live continues, the way of the mead will lead you to the altar holding in. By the divine. That is an awful poem. That is terrible. Eh, at least it tells us where to go. Yes. To Old Holden Inn. Lead the way. You've done well by restoring our festival. Got anything for a new bard to do while I'm in the field? Have you ever heard of the Whisperer Song? It's a small song in three parts, written about a Daedric spider from the Second Era. I heard that a wandering bard had found all three parts before heading to Bleakos Cave. I haven't heard about him since then. If you could find out what happened to him and to the song, I would be grateful. That's maybe from Bard Reborn? I don't know. Just arrive in the city? Is Good to see you. Safe? What did you think of King Olaf's verse? I wish it had been in better condition. It could have served as a grand example of the evolution of Bardic verse. Still, I'm grateful that you recovered it and returned safely. You must tell me about the experience. Svaknir appeared and guided me. Oh my, are you? Oh, you are serious, aren't you? To think that his spirit lingered in hopes of his final work being found. Truly, a hero in bard. Then we battled King Olaf himself in Draugr form. You need to record this. I mean it. Write down the entire adventure. It is a perfect piece for you to add to the poetic edit. There may yet be more secrets there. I'll speak with the headmaster about sending a team to investigate. Pretty sure that's Bard College Excavation. Just doing the pre-quest to this has taken an eternity. Also, I've got two out of the three instrument quests. I'm, I know where the other one is, so I might as well just go get it. Plus three extras. So that's pretty much it for today. As much as I rag on Amorous Adventures and it does deserve to be parodied, it had some interesting story beats that wouldn't be in the vanilla game, and I can respect that. Today was pretty much just talking and pre-quests. Didn't think the pre-bard stuff would take this long, but links in the description. You can see there's a lot of bard content available even outside of the Bard College expansion. One more bard episode, plus or minus Mind of Madness, then Saints and Seducers, then one episode to wrap up back in time, then on to the time skip. I've put it off for long enough. Well, it's gonna be part of the time skip because I've got the college days coming up, meaning Bard College and College of Winterhold. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. So long, happy modding.